Hello everyone, welcome back to All The Mods Gravitas 2. That is correct, I am in creative right now and I am flying about because this is going to be the last episode of the sneak peeks. So a few people are, are a little confused. Uh, this is like a sneak peek at the pack because the pack's not out yet, but it should be out this weekend. So if everything goes to plan, <laughs> we will... Uh, we will be able to play Gravitas together this weekend. So that's the plan, at least. Uh, I'm going to try and host a server as soon as uh, it's out to everybody. So fingers crossed that's Saturday, because that's when my next Gravitas video was going to come out anyway. Uh, obviously, I don't have a next one because this is me wrapping up this series of Sneak Peek. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys can come play. Uh, that is going to be all through the Patreon, so that's how I end up doing, like, servers, is I do it through a Patreon, like, subscription, because that way it helps me cover the costs for the server, so I am currently covering all the costs, um, but, you know, it's all in place, so, yeah, if you do want to come and join, then the Patreon will be linked in the description. Bit of a weird time to talk about it, really, isn't it, the, the Patreon, but... Uh, I am not in... Okay, what I'm going to do... This is how you put cheats on if you were in a non-cheat world. Ah! Oh, that was close. Let me turn off the, the rain, because I can. Haha. <laughs> yeah, um... So, there's a few bits and bobs that I wanted to cover before we, uh... Before we ended. Now, firstly, there's this thing over here which I have cheated in, and I've put right there. Uh, I also accidentally broke a chest that was right here, but anyway. Uh, yes, about this. This is the crucible. This is the thing that we want to get as soon as we can, which is difficult considering... Right, you can go away. Go on. Uh, it's difficult considering you need fire clay for that. So, fire clay. Let me just do this. Yeah, there we go. So, fire clay, it comes from graphite powder. So, graphite is this stuff, you find it in the ground. Uh, in fact, let's do one of those. And uh, what else is it? It's also kaolinite powder. So, kaolinite powder comes from kaolin clay, and you have to smelt that up. So, K -O -K -O lin. So these ones here, so there's like the white variant, there's the pink, there's the red, and there's the one that has like grass on top. Uh, so it can be like completely covered, like it could be right here, and it would just blend in because it's got grass on top of it, which is kind of annoying, but <laughs> that's fine. Um, you should be able to see it with a mineral hammer, I think. I think that's how that works. should be able to see the, the kaolin clay. So... Yeah, you need some of this kaolin clay, you need to smelt it down, you get the powder, and then you need graphite, which you just find in the world, it's like an ore. That is what I will be trying to focus on as soon as I can in uh, my server play through of this, or my, uh, my let's play. Uh, so, we need to get a crucible like straight away, in fact we need to try and get as many of these as we can. So we might have to go on a bit of a hunt. Luckily we'll be on the server, so there'll be like quite a lot of us hunting for it. I'm gonna try and make it a community sort of thing. So it's not just not just me. I will try and show off everything as well. We are also gonna rush something that I think Peter David D? David Die. David with an I on the end. Yes. And some numbers. One of the commenters on this series uh, suggested using a steam uh, miner, which I think is this one. Yes. So let's go over to... Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go all the way down here. Oh, not all the way down, all the way down, but I'm going to go down enough... So I can go over to... Oh, hello. Good thing we're in creative, eh? I want to go over here. To where our sapphelorite is. Sorry. 
It's not sphalerite. It's sphalerite. Sphalerite. Aha, I'm getting good at that. Anyway, I built this right here. Now, are you stuck because you're full up? No, you're not. You're done. Nice. So, what this is right here is a steam miner. And I'm going to punch that because reasons. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a new one right here. And that is going to fill up with steam. I hope you're going to fill up. No, because you're the wrong way round. Uh, we need a wrench. Is that going to go straight into there? Where, where is, where's the face of this? Okay. Let's take these off. Ah, can't see a thing. Uh, let's... I think the face is here now. Are you, are you pushing steam out? Yeah, you are. Okay, this is going to get quite loud. As you can tell. And this... If we come down here, what this has done Yeah, there you go. So what this has done, oh my goodness, right There you go, turn the sound off, sorry about that. So uh, what this has done here is uh, it's mining in a 9x9 nine nine area. So there is some sapphellerite, so there's some sapphellerite over here for example. Um, and it will replace this with some granite. So the normal granite sapphellerite that we've got right there. If we have a look in here, we are getting some sapphellerite out of this. When I read this, I thought it was just 9x9. Nine nine. And in fact, I thought it said 3x3 three three because I was reading it wrong, apparently. But apparently, yeah, it just goes down in one swoop like that. And it will mine up all of the different ores, which is kind of amazing, in my opinion. There you go, another rich one, amazing. Uh, there, there is quite a bit of cost involved with this, as you can tell. Uh, first off, this takes steam, so you need to actually create some steam. So, it turns out that the charcoal is not really used that often in the low-pressure steam boiler. Uh, so you can use a low-pressure steam boiler. This needs water, but you can get that from one of these, which is a primitive pump. Primitive pump right here. And it is a multi-block, so it's all of this right here. And there is a, uh, what do you call it right there, pump hatch. And these right here are the fluid pipes that I went with. You can use other fluid pipes, but these ones look pretty decent, so I just use these. And this is pumping water straight into the low pressure steam boiler that we've got right here now these if i have a look at this it says temperature limit is 340k now this right here is 373k so these pipes can't transfer this steam which is fair enough but it's kind of a big thing this doesn't require anything by the way to generate water this pump primitive pump it's just wherever it is, it will just start making water in that block in the middle there. And that block in the middle is basically a sink from uh, cooking for blockheads. So you get infinite water out of it, which is kind of crazy. So yeah, you just pipe it up, easy enough. And then that gets you some water into your boiler. The boiler then gives you steam. And then that steam goes into the steam miner. You get a decent miner. Now, the reason it's down here is because I set this up earlier and... Uh, I didn't realise that it would do this where it like shoots down like that. So you will see right here, it's got this minor pipe. And if we go all the way down like that, it will go all the way down. Awesome. So it go all the way down like this. Uh, yeah, I think this is something we're going to try and focus on. We're trying to get one of these at some point. So what I'll do now is, uh, in fact, yeah, if I do that, I'm going to do click, middle click on each one of these items that we've got right here, including the one in the middle there. If I can get through it. Eh, 
Can I click on it now? Pump patch, yeah. So this one is treated wood. So that is not that one. We probably want the other treated wood, which is this, which is from Greg Tech. So that does mean that we need to get some creosote. And probably the best way of getting it is uh, a coke oven. Uh, but again, to do that, we need these coke oven bricks, which come from this uh, compressed coke clay, which comes from fire clay. So we need a lot of fire clay. We need like a ridiculous amount of fire clay, as many as we can make, basically. So I think when we set the server up, the first like several days are literally going to be let's just try and find as much kaolin clay and graphite as we can uh how do i get up from here i might have to you know what i'm just gonna punch my way up because i'm in creative i forget how low down i am okay i'm quite low down brilliant wow i'm still going There we go. Where are we? Flipping heck. We're so far away. <laughs> okay, we're not too far away. There's uh, one of the villagers thingies. But yeah, what we could have done is we could have set all of that stuff up up here. And uh, that would have done as well. Uh, but yeah, to get all of this, we do need to get some treated planks. So we need to get some creosote as soon as possible. It also looks like you need the Greg Tech version of the treated planks, which is not great because it means you can't use the uh, the version we were going to use from Fermalife. That one uses all the bees. Oh. Nope, I thought we had a bee in there, but we do not. We don't have any in there either, and we don't have any in here. I'm actually going to turn the sounds on, because it's a bit creepy without the sounds for some reason. So let's turn that on, and... We're in creative, so I can turn the rain off. There we go. Yeah, so the whole plan is we're going to get ourselves a steam miner all set up. Um, this is what I kind of thought about doing right here. Which is, uh, if you... Uh, like, I set this up in creative a minute ago as well. And in fact, that is totally wrong, because you don't want it to be quick. Jeez. There we go. Uh, and then we can just do 64. So what you do is you click that one on. Uh, it's got all of these are glued together, including the uh, the chests. You can open the chests when when it's like moving now. Since when could you do that? That's insane. It says moving chest as well. What? Okay, you could never do that before. So I'm really glad that that's in. But what this would do is it would just mine down and it would only get these 16 blocks. 16 blocks is not 9 by 9 is it? And also we end up collecting a bunch of uh, loose granite which we don't want. So this is no longer the way that we're going to do it. This is how we did it in Gravitas 1 which is the reason that it's uh, the reason that I was like sort of beelining for it. Uh, that's going to bring it back up. Noise. Uh, so what we will be doing is we'll, we'll be going for the uh, miner instead because it's insanely good. Eventually we'll get into like low voltage and all of that sort of power stuff. And uh, when we get the low voltage power, we will probably use the low low voltage miner, which is the same as the steam miner except it only takes like power. So that's that's pretty good. Um, I'm quite excited. I'm going to talk to uh, the vortex about this. I'm quite excited about villagers because villagers saved my my took us in uh, gravitas one. So excited to see that he's gonna run off. What, what did you get? What did you get? Okay, coal coke, coal coke, and doing that. Nope, don't want that. Yeah, that's not great. <laughs> it can't get cold. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm quite excited about villagers. Uh, there's this over here, which 
is kind of cool as well. This is for automating some terra firma craft stuff. So you can automate the bellows with the uh, the water wheels that we've got. This is actually only spinning because we're in the river. So it's using the river's like pull right now to spin this. For some reason this is spinning in the wrong direction. But I think that's okay. <laughs> Just have to deal with that. Uh, but yeah, I wonder what would happen if it's on this way. It's still going in the wrong direction. That's very weird. Maybe there's a gear in there that's making it go in the other direction. Anyway, yeah, it'll be interesting to look into all of this stuff from uh, Terra Firma Craft. Obviously, the, the main thing in the pack is going to be Greg Tech. So, Greg Tech would be where we aim, although Ender IO is also in the pack. That's Ender IO. Okay, it doesn't like that. So, yeah, there is getting... Oh, I didn't mean to get this spawner. There is uh, the opportunity, I suppose, for us to get I don't know, like the alloy smelter. This one would be insane to get because super, super good. Does require some crucibles though, which is interesting. And we need the primitive one first, which is three crucibles. You're absolutely kidding me. And some deep slate. Interesting. I'm not entirely sure how we're going to get this deep slate, but anyway, I'm sure that'll be fixed by the time we uh, actually go live. Um, I did, as I was recording this, just find out that it won't be out this weekend. So I'm going to have something a little bit special planned for this weekend. Uh, we're probably going to play a different game. We're going to play some Satisfactory. I've not played it on the channel yet and absolutely love that. I've only just played it recently and fell in love with the game. So we're going to play a little bit of that this weekend. Uh, but next week, when it comes to Gravitas Day, which is Wednesday, we will be playing on the server. Fingers crossed. Looking into it still. There's a few bugs that are happening right now. Other than that, if, uh, if there's anything that you can think of that would make this pack... Not easier, but like make more sense like uh, loads of different villager trades you can't really do anything with the villager trades over here like this dude cleric won't trade with me uh, this one's fine but there's other ones like the farmer it's annoying because he's got really crappy things anyway yeah if there's anything that you can think of that would uh, make this pack even better, then uh, let me know and I can always pass it on. But yeah, this is kind of where I think I'm going to uh, call the episode for today. I know it's a short one, but uh, I could talk about this pack for, for literally years. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully uh, a few more people play Gravitas 2 than played Gravitas 1. Because Gravitas 1, uh, there wasn't too many people that played it. I know uh, there was quite a big following in Portugal. So a lot of Portuguese people that were uh, playing some Gravitas. Uh, but anyway, yeah. Hopefully uh, we'll have a few more people, especially as we're going to do it on a server. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to call the episode here. And I've had such a fun time in Gravitas already. So thank you for watching. Thanks for joining, and hopefully you join me again for Gravitas 2 multiplayer on a server. Bye.